everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and there has been a beta update. I don't think there's huge changes, but we're going to take a little peek -see, a little look a rooney and uh, take a look and see if there's anything different that we can look at. I've said look too many times already. So first off, we are going to go to the furniture shop, and then I think we'll check out the event area. We're going to see if there have been any changes around, and I already see, oh, looks like the candles are pink. I wonder if that's on purpose. It might not be. Sometimes items are pink when they're like miss missing their texture. But it does look really pretty and it makes it a lot less just white and gray. So that would be an adorable color. I wouldn't mind that. Looks like we have, like, uh, I still have a lot of items to buy here. Oh, yeah. Many, many. Hi, spirit. I want to talk to you, but you won't. You're going to have to kick me out of here, aren't you? Please, I want to talk to you. Ah. Sorry. You can meet me over here. Okay, so it looks like we don't have anything we can actually do from the spirit yet. The next quest apparently starts in five days. I'm really excited for that. I want to see what is going to happen next. Oh, I already see some changes. This is new. Cute. A little bit more lore friendly. It doesn't look like there's any obvious piping to that sink. A little wash basin and a jar to fill it up. These spirits, looks like we don't have too much different on them either. We can't see any of the items. They're all work in progress. So we are waiting for a future update to actually check out what each and every one of these spirits will bring. So we do have to wait for a future update. I'm still waiting for that. I'm still excited and hopeful. Oh, what is this? All right, the thingamabob has changed into a thingamajig. Um, for those that were watching maybe a, an earlier video, this was, this one's had three lines. No one knew what it was, but now it has changed to what looks like a screen, and it's wooden. Hmm. I guess we'll learn a little more as the season progresses still. A lot of things are unknown. Alright, let's take a look at these new items. So this is everything that was added in the previous build. This was all of the season pass items, in a sense. Items that we'll get from the seasonal spirits. So it's nice that in this season we should have some colorful items added as well as our normal gray ones. Hopefully those get changed a little bit too, but let's take a look at some of these newish items. It's kind of hard to see because, of course, everything is work in progress. Um, well, I assume that that sink would be up in the kitchen stuff. Maybe I'll just go through everything individually. Oh, oh, a different sink. Okay, so they've changed the uh, the prop itself. Oh, it's like a pizza oven, but they haven't updated the image, which is fine. Cute, a little more lore friendly looking, isn't it? It doesn't look quite so modern. I like that. All right, I think I'm going to go through all of this stuff and I'll make another uh, showcase of all the new items. So here's that other sink with the big basin and the uh, side with the little jugs on it. That's pretty cute. Oh, we have a new dresser item. It has the closet icon on it, so hopefully we can actually change our outfit. That'd be really cool to change that in your shared space or your home. I mean, it does feel like a must. Here is the candle item, which appears to be pink over on the desk. Um, it doesn't look like it's pink here, so it might be a texture issue. But it does look like we can finally interact with the candles, which is nice. Uh, we're almost at the bottom of all this stuff. Let me see if there's more candles. There must be. Just double checking if any of these final items have changed. Maybe we can interact with the mirror. Hmm. Nope. Oh, more candles. And that appears to be it. We also have a question mark at the bottom now, which is like a shared space guide. I think we probably have this normally. I've just never tapped on it. <laughs> Anything else to add? I don't think so. Oh, there, I was looking for these wall sconces too. I want to see if we can activate them as well. It doesn't look like we can, but we'll have to see. Oh, maybe not. All right, that's fine. Uh, so now you can go into, like, a livable mode while you're still in build mode. Oh, look! You can interact with it. Cute! All right! A very small, but in my opinion, a necessary change. Here we have this one, and then you can see over there, they are pink on the counter, but 
They do seem to be white in the actual game. Um, I do see we have the option to sit, and we also have the option to open various drawers. Yay. Okay, so we have the cape closet. Oh, and then we can also sit for some reason. <laughs> Sitting in my little drawer. Uh, masks. So you can change what you want to look like as much as you want within your home, which is really awesome. I'm going to look a little cooler. So every drawer is a different section of the closet. And you can also go between like hair and then hair accessories and mask and mask accessories as well. So that's pretty cool. Yes. We're going to look cool. Yes. Awesome. Do we want like a like a cape accessory? Move that. And then uh Yeah, we'll put on that. Nice. It looks like the oven doesn't have any sort of function yet. I hope it will have one and the sinks as well. Neato. Remember that this is, of course, still pretty early testing for the season. We're going to see things change as the season carries on and progresses. But these are welcome changes so far. I'm going to publish this so other players can see the new items. New and changed items. Smiley face. Oh, you scared me. Hello. And then let's take a peek at the shared space really quick. Although it's going to look the exact same, but hey, new stuff. Exciting. Lovely. I love that closet change. I feel like that's necessary and great. All right. Uh, everything else seems to be pretty normal. We still have this little key there. Let's check out the new Days of Nature updates, if there are any. So we're going to go over here. Oh, and then of course we also have the uh, would-be apartment complex over here. The nesting boxes or whatever they're called. Um, at the moment, it seems like, again, we still can't enter it. I think we'll have to progress in the seasonal quests before we can. But I'm excited to see our own home in this area. All right. On to the nature guide. Let's see what has changed. Let's see what's new. Hello, nature guide. So within this area, we have had this box update. I didn't go over it last time, but it has updated in a previous uh, update. So we have like the ascot neck accessory, the cute little bubbly mask, and then I believe over on this side there is the new cape, which uh, I haven't seen yet. And then we can see, of course, the mask and the ascot are the free items for this event, which is what I thought they would be. And then here, oh, hello, we have the mask, the ascot, and we have a new hairstyle and the cape spell, so maybe we can check these out. They're not in the shop yet, so they're only in spell form at the moment. Let's try them on. I'm going to try on the free stuff first, and then we'll try on the paid stuff at the end. Unfortunately, it is actually impossible to traverse my spell list at the moment. Ugh. Okay, I found the bubbly mask, and now we're going to look for the ascot. The bubble mask is absolutely adorable. It has this little squiggle going through it, which is so precious. Obviously, that's meant to be water. And then these little glowing bubbles around the eyes. So pretty. To me, it looks really similar to the Days of Style mask. But I also don't want it to change. So, yeah. Um, but for the ascot, it is somewhere in here. That literally took me a minute to find it. It's just a neck accessory that kind of matches last year's cape. It's blue, it has a lighter blue. It might be a little easier to see if we go into the new event area. Well, not new, it's the moments area, but the event area. Yes, it's a lot easier to see. So we can see that the mask has like a blue diamond around the white diamond. Then the ascot is like a little cute neck accessory. All right, now to find these new cosmetics, and we'll take a look at them. Jumping back into our horrible spell list. Uh, here is the cape. Oh, I think they're broken. No, I want to see them. Well, I don't think the hair is going to work, but let's try it out. It looks pretty, it looks braided, and beautiful. Oh, I have 
too many spells on. Please. Oh, it didn't even register in my spell list. Did I use it? I used it. No! This is the worst day ever, but that's okay. I expect we'll probably see it in the next update. So as soon as that happens, I will definitely show you guys, as usual. I'm trying one last attempt at checking it out. I'm going to see maybe if it's in the closet by chance, but my hopes are low at this point. Let's see. In the cave closet. Next to... No, it's not here. Okay, that's fine. I'm not too worried. We'll see more of it in a future update. Alright, I'm just curious what that cape's gonna look like. And the hairstyle. At least we know that there are two uh, in-game currency items and two paid items. And the paid items, or at least one of them, is likely gonna go towards charity once again. So far, all these updates seem very slow going, which isn't necessarily a problem. I know they're trying something brand new, and I would prefer them to take as much time as they need to to perfect it and uh, make changes that players will love. So yeah, I assume we'll see some more changes later on in this week, especially the Days of Nature stuff, so stay tuned. I'll make more videos. See you guys. Bye!